News reporter Brian Taft has a closer look at the gubernatorial race. He's here in the studio. Brian, certainly a lot more drama on the Republican side, but now we know who the candidates will be in the next election for governor. Yeah, we certainly do, Rick, and it sets up an absolutely intriguing situation. Uh, Democrats coalesced around their candidate months ago. Republican leaders, though, spent the final days of this race trying to stop the man who has now won their nomination. Doug Mastriano took to a stage in Chambersburg a short time ago tonight, celebrating his win after weeks of polling showed him with a sizable lead. Well, those polls, as we now know, bore out despite the last ditch effort by some key Republicans to back a different candidate. More on why Mastriano makes them nervous still ahead in this newscast. But for tonight, the candidate not nervous at all. In fact, he's quite confident. Our view for Pennsylvania is one of hope and freedom, that people come here and walk as they see fit, not as some governor or some media hack sees fit. Well, as for Josh Shapiro, this is the fight he wanted, signaling as much in campaign ads even before the primary was done. He tweeted this tonight, quote, I'm humbled and honored to be your Democratic nominee for governor of Pennsylvania. No matter which dangerous extremists we're up against this November, the stakes are too high for anything but a victory. The general election, he tweeted, starts right now. And so, yes, it's Josh Shapiro versus Doug Mastriano to be the next governor of Pennsylvania.